Achoo! Oh, hey, how are you? I'm not so great. I have a really bad cold today. I didn't even go to work. Oh well, I guess I'll just take a sip from my lemon, ginger, and honey tea. You might be wondering, why isn't she taking medication? Well, it's because there are natural remedies that we can take when it comes to getting rid of a cold. These aren't just my words, they've been medically approved. In this video, we're gonna talk about them. So, let's begin. Number one, honey. Are you wondering why I used honey in my lemon tea instead of sugar? Well, to begin with, honey has various antibacterial and antimicrobial properties. When you have honey in tea instead of sugar, it can ease throat pain. It kills the bacteria that cause inflammation in your throat. The same logic can be applied when it comes to a cold. The same properties of honey that make it such a dangerous nemesis against cough also makes it effective against a cold. If you're struggling with an awful cold and it's been going on for days, honey can help you ward it off. Once honey enters your bloodstream, it destroys the bacteria that gets collected in your lungs. This reduces inflammation in your lungs, thus helping you deal with the cold. It also boosts your immune system, forming a shield against other microorganisms. Perhaps this is the reason why honey is so revered in alternative medicine. Speaking of which, let's talk about the next ingredient in my drink. Number two, lemon. Of course, lemon can't cure a cold on its own, but it can help your body fight it better. Lemon contains a very important nutrient, vitamin C. It's this nutrient that helps to develop tissues in your body and strengthen your bones. When it comes to a cold, vitamin C's antimicrobial properties come into play. It can help clear up respiratory tracts. This reduces the inflammation that made its way to your nose from your lungs. As you can see, I'm drinking lemon in my tea and I've added honey and ginger too. It's helping me feel better and I wish I had it earlier. I wouldn't have had to call in sick to work. Lemon and honey complement each other. Honey kills the infection and lemon amplifies the effects of honey in your body. They're like the two best friends that ride together in old western movies. Alone, they're effective, but together, they're deadly for a cold. This brings me to the third ingredient in my drink. Number three, ginger. People have raved about the benefits of ginger for a long time. Guess what? They were right. It's been scientifically proven that ginger has antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory properties. Even a few slices of ginger in warm water can do wonders for your throat. But when it comes to a cold, you need a little bit more help. This is why the combination of honey, lemon, and ginger go together. What more could you ask for? Ginger has the ability to soothe your lungs and provide the much needed relief that you require. Even adding ginger and black tea can be helpful for you. Just make sure that you aren't having raw ginger, or for that matter, having too much of it. Ginger has a high pH level. This means it can cause acid reflux in your system. You wouldn't want that to happen in your body. Enough about my drink, let's move on to another remedy. Number four, probiotic yogurt. What if I told you that not all bacteria are bad for your body? Sounds crazy, but bear with me because you're in for a surprise. Your body contains a certain amount of bacteria and yeast that can help your body's immune system. They can help your digestive system function smoothly. More importantly, they can reduce risks of upper respiratory infections. By the way, that's the thing that causes a cold or a flu in the first place. All of a sudden, bacteria doesn't seem so bad. Well, this is where we bring in probiotic yogurt. This is the yogurt you give to anyone who's having digestive problems, cold, flu, and throat problems. The bacteria present helps to kill the infection. Although I would suggest looking for the label live bacteria whenever you're buying probiotic yogurt. It's also a good source of calcium and protein, so it can help in boosting your immune system. Apart from that, it strengthens your tissues, muscles, and bones. Achoo! Ah, oh, moving on to the next one. Number five, echinacea. The benefits of this herbal plant was introduced to the outer world by Native Americans. They were the ones to first include it into their medicine. One of the reasons why echinacea is so effective is because of flavonoids. These compounds have a therapeutic effect on your body. What type of therapeutic effect? It can reduce inflammation and boost your immune system. Not convinced yet? 
Well, we aren't done. If you're facing a reoccurring problem of the cold, then I would suggest taking echinacea root or herb as tea. It would lower your chances of getting a cold by a whopping 50%. It can also reduce the length of the cold when you're suffering from it. Just keep one thing in mind. Don't take it more than a week. One week is all your body needs to absorb the nutrients from this root. Speaking of which, there's another thing we need to talk about. Number six, garlic. Many of you don't like garlic and I don't blame you for it. I mean, the smell of garlic isn't really pleasing. Although, if you aren't having it at all, then you're seriously missing out. Garlic contains allicin, which contains antimicrobial properties. We've already told you what happens when food with antimicrobial properties enter your body. If you can add garlic to your diet on a regular basis, then you'll have lesser chances of developing a cold. According to a study, it has been found that garlic can fight symptoms regarding sickness. Now, that sounds like good news. Don't celebrate yet, though. Much like ginger, garlic also has a high pH level. So while you may want to consume more garlic, try not to overdo it. Keep it to a maximum of one a day. All right, time to talk about the next one. Number seven, chicken soup. A bowl of chicken soup can help slow down the movement of neutrophils. Neutrophils are a type of white blood cells that help to protect your body from infection. When they slow down, they'll stay in the areas that require more attention. Therefore, it will help the areas that may be infected. In one study, it was found that chicken soup helps to reduce the risk of respiratory problems. Additionally, if you can reduce the amount of salt in soup, it can help you stay hydrated. Low sodium soup also has great nutritional value. Just add a bit of ginger and garlic in the soup and you have yourself one of the best homemade remedies for a cold. We don't know if chicken soup is good for the soul, but it is definitely good for your health. Chicken soup can't completely cure a cold, but it can prevent it from happening. Achoo! Now that we've talked about alternative remedies, let's look at some other remedies you don't have to consume, but are equally helpful. Number one, topical ointments. We know that topical ointments don't necessarily smell very nice, but they're extremely useful. So the next time you have a fever, you should consider applying these ointments on your shoulder, chest, and near the nasal area. You can also massage your chest or your shoulders with topical ointments. They're very helpful in dealing with a cold. They also help in combating congestion and improving sleep. Moving on to the next point. Number two, gargling with salt water. Salt water helps reduce infections in the upper part of your respiratory system. It can also help in loosening and reducing mucus in your body. Usually, bacteria, microorganisms, and other allergens are found in mucus. If you're someone who feels congestion in your chest, then gargling with salt water is good for you. It can also help in easing a sore throat and clearing nasal congestion. Achoo! Now, uh, let's talk about the next point. Number three, warm baths for children. Warm baths have been shown to reduce the risk of fever among children. If you can add Epsom salt to the bath, it can help in dealing with body aches. You can also reduce the symptoms of cold and flu through warm baths. So make sure that you're giving them to your child. It's great for them. Do you get colds easily? Have you tried any of these remedies? Let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait, what kind of Bestie are we if we don't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video and enjoy.